friends welcome to my workplace at rana ghat west bengal india in this video we are going to see a management of a posterior subcapsular cataract and this is stereo coaxial illumination and this is normal illumination uh, the microscope is topcons oms 800 omniglow a stereo coaxial device has been attached to this microscope this is normal illumination as soon as the Stereo coaxial illumination is turned on. See how is the glow? It is like this. So, and the depth perception has increased. I can see the posterior subcapsular cataract as at a distance with this kind of illumination. This is a totally unedited recording. The main incision has been made, and this is. 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. In this case, I am going to make only one side port. Here it is. And the side port is about 3 clock hours away from the main incision. And now, capsular axis, the anti capsule has been incised, the capsular tag is raised. And now I take a utrita forceps, hold this capsular tag, go anti clockwise, and do a continuous curvilinear capsular axis. In this case, the rexis has been uh, round but eccentric. The rexis is towards the infrarotemporal quadrant. Uh, anyway, it happens because this is manual work, not it's not a femtolaser. So, Sometimes it happens. Hydrodissection and hydrodelineation is done. Nucleus is mobilized. Now, in this case, I am going to attempt carousel technique. Let us see if it happens or not. The tip of the FACO handpiece goes into the anterior chamber with its bevel down some superficial cortical matter is removed and now the tip is placed at the edge of the nucleus vacuum is 450 and within few seconds the nucleus gets removed the nucleus turns and gets removed The nucleus has also been removed. Now this is the cortex. Because of stereo coaxial illumination, stereopsis has increased. I can see the posterior capsule at a far distance, as if the uh, room in the anterior chamber and the capsular bag has increased. And we can always be at a safe distance from the corneal endothelium when we have nice stereopsis, when we have very nice depth perception. Cortical cleanup has been done very nicely. We can't see any uh, lens fibers, but one or two fibers may be there. So I'm going to do Hydro polish. This is hydro polish, and in this case, I have taken a B cartridge. So I'm going to enlarge the main incision just by a little bit, say point on or point two millimeter, and now the B cartridge can go. A portion of the B cartridge can go into the anterior chamber, and the lens can be nicely delivered into the anterior chamber into the capsular bag. Here it is. The lens goes, the leading haptic goes into the capsular bag and the trailing haptic is placed into, into the capsular bag just by a push uh, of the left hand instrument, the irrigating probe. The lens is dialed in such a way that the haptics are 2 to 3 clock hours away from the main incision. This is 
moxifloxacin. And now the side port is being closed by corneal stromal hydration. There is only one side port in this case. And now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. At this time, whatever visco molecules sticks to the corneal endothelium comes out. The antechamber is nicely formed. The integrity of the wounds are checked by a cotton tipped Janssen bar. Few drops of moxie is applied and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.